Hello, kia ora, I'm Philip Duncan, and thanks for joining us for our Monday update, recorded on the 19th of August. As this cold and windy change moves around New Zealand, let's have a look at the animated wind map. Today we've got the misery index switched on. That is actually a, a term that we use when uh, it's either too warm or too cold. And so the blue that you see here means that it feels like zero or below, uh, no matter what time of the day it is. And that is important if you have livestock, newborn lambs, newborn calves, for example. That is the reason why it's called the misery index, because it is miserable weather if you're outdoors and inside it. Not so bad the further up the country you go, not as cold, but uh, the polar portion of the system clearly coming here off the ice caps, that is actually just to the southeast of us. We've actually got an airflow that's coming more so out of Australia over the next day or so, and that's going to lift up the temperatures a wee bit, even though for many of you, the wind direction won't actually change much. Here's how it looks at lunchtime Monday. We don't normally show you the Monday air pressure maps. We usually just show you uh, the Tuesday one. We kick off from there on a Monday. But because of this significant situation going on, look at all this low pressure out here to the east and southeast. Coupled with the high pressure zone over Tasmania, the two work together to dredge up uh, two different air masses. Both of them are still merging as a southerly, but you've got this one coming off Antarctica and then this other one coming out of Australia in the Southern Ocean area. And the two merge and come up across New Zealand with snow flurries, uh, especially in the mountains here, and showers, some of them squally and heavy in the North Island, along with those strong winds. Here is the snow map. This is from 8 o'clock Monday morning. Let's animate the next 24 hours. The pale blue means not a huge amount of snow, but the snow does get down to lower levels around the southeastern corner. That's where it's most likely to fall as sea level. But the pale blue means it won't be much. So if you're a viewer in Dunedin and got all excited because there was a real chance of snow there, temperatures got to the right point, but not enough moisture. That's the reason why you're not seeing much in the way of snow around the Dunedin area. Now check out the windy weather. We've got this windy stuff around the country at the moment. What you see in the blue shading, which is a fair part of this map, uh, although not so much around central New Zealand and inland areas, but the coastal zones, very windy. Let's animate the next 48 hours and you'll see it all just gets pushed away, blows away, falls apart, and lighter winds coming in thanks to high pressure, which is drifting in as we go in towards Wednesday morning. And that's Wednesday morning right there. Not very windy around the country. So let's now get into the forecast. Here's how it is on Tuesday at lunchtime. We've got the stormy stuff well out to the southeast of New Zealand and between that low southeast of New Zealand and the high pressure zone west of Northland, we've got that windy southwester blowing around the country. But as you just saw, those winds start to ease back as we go through the day, but still plenty of showers coming into the north of New Zealand, places like Auckland, still a bit windy and showery and still pretty cold down here in the southern part of New Zealand not as cold though, because that airflow is coming out of Australia more so as we go through the next couple of days. So as we get this high pressure coming in, the winds calm down, the cold air sinks. That means frosty weather. So we are expecting heavy frosts both Tuesday morning and especially again here on Wednesday around the country as those winds become much lighter. But it is also worth noting this is the airflow starting to come back in again out of Queensland, out of New South Wales and drifting into Stewart Island, Southland, Otago as the day wears on, which means it's warming up as we go through this week. By Thursday, subtropical winds coming down into the South Island. Uh, the North Island's got light winds with the high pressure zone tracking across. Still a few cloudy areas and still a few showers, but the temperatures they're going up. Maybe not so much overnight for the North Island. That takes a little bit later into the week, probably around Friday. Because on Friday, subtropical winds come down over the North Island and Australian winds blowing across the South Island, strong to maybe severe gales, rain on the West Coast, temperatures up, it's feeling like spring. When you kick off the week with an Antarctic blast and just a few days later, it's Australian air flows coming through. That is a lot more like a spring weather pattern, chopping and changing like that. So Saturday this weekend, here's our final map. High pressure well out to the east here. We've still got that somewhat subtropical airflow over the North Island, but a cooler change comes into the south. Nothing too major, but more so from uh, well, it's still coming out of Australia, but it's uh, just slightly colder than it was. So temperatures drop a wee bit. Nothing like what we're seeing, though, today, Monday, that is for sure. That's all from me for today. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget our website, uh, weatherwatch.co.nz, or download our app. 
Uh, we'll be having special updates across the day as we track the southerly blast and it heads its way northwards. That's all from me. We'll see you again on Tuesday with our next update.